Today we're going to build this wrestling ring build that I use for my Lego stop motion animations. The face, Irish whip, oh. running knee strike. Halcon rolls out of the way, Jesse off the ropes. Halcon flipped Jesse right over. Here, underway. More is off with a quick go behind. Oh. Keep through the ropes! Bulldog. Springboard moonsault. This ring was completely designed by me back in 2020. The ring is minifigure scale and is about as accurate as you can get to a professional wrestling ring using Lego. Let's get started. Lay out your four 8x8 plates. Connect them to your 4x4 plate covering a 2x2 corner. Repeat this step three more times. Take two of your 4x8 plates and place them on one end of your 8x8 plates. Connect them with a 2x8 plate. Repeat this step three more times. Place four more 2x8s along the seam. Place four 2x6 plates on the other seams. Take your 4x4 corner cut wedge plate and place them in each of the four corners. Next, take your eight 1x6 plates and place them along the outer 2x2 two two plate. One stud should connect to your 4x4 four four corner cut plate. Repeat this step three more times. Take your 12 1x2, 1x4 brackets and connect them as follows. Repeat this step three more times. Next, make eight of the following one by four builds.
you can place them as shown here. Repeat this step three more times. Make nine of the following two by two builds. Place them as shown here. Make four of the following builds. These will later be used to connect your corner post. Place the top stud in the open circle as shown here. Repeat this step three times. Place your 1x8 plate on the first stud of the 1x4 bracket. Place your 1x10 plate next to the 1x8 on the studs that remain. Repeat both steps three times. Next, we'll build the four corner posts and the turnbuckles. Take your 1x5 Technic lift arm, then place three axle one length width pin and put them into the top three spaces. Repeat this step three times. Take three of your Technic axle and pin connector number one and place them on the axle pin as follows.
Repeat this step three more times. Place the Technic pin in the corner to the bottom hole of the corner post. Repeat three more times. Next, we're going to place our 2x4 and 1x4 tiles along the edge to create the ring skirt. You can place them as follows. Repeat three more times. Finally, we'll put on our ring ropes. Run the elastic string through each open hole in the turnbuckle as follows. You can find this elastic string at most hobby stores, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, and Joann Fabrics. You can use whatever knot you'd like, but I recommend some type of slip knot. You want the ring ropes to be a little bit loose. If you tie them too tight, they could pull the ring posts in. Once you connect the ring to a base plate, the ropes will tighten up. The posts will pull back far enough just for the ropes to straighten out. As you can see, once the ring is placed on a base plate, everything cleans up nicely. I like to clip my loose extra string and then pull my knots into the turnbuckles. As you can see, the ropes have a nice flex to them. Not too tight, not too loose. One finishing touch I like to add is to add a 1x6 tile on the corner just to finish off the ring and hide those Technic pins. This 1x6 tile can be connected by a Technic half pin. It's now time for your main event. Happy wrestling.